Welcome to Infinite Valuable Time. Today is March 1st of 2024, and I'm your host, Brian Park. In this podcast, me and guests will freely talk and share opinions about technology, culture, worldwide news, and etc. Since Wikistation is located inside of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, we'll definitely talk about school life and school culture with students in present and future podcast episodes. Huge thanks to Wicked for letting me use the space and gears, and thanks Connor for training me to become a podcast host. So we got another full crowd guest today. Uh, from the very left, can you say your name and your major, please? Good evening, Eagles. Mm-hmm. I'm Adit Dechakalia. Uh-huh. My major is aerospace engineering. Hi there, this is Sharam Rajamani, mm-hmm. and I'm a grad student studying unmanned autonomous systems engineering. Okay. You all know who it is. <laughs> it's Karthik Maredi. Mm-hmm. Ex-aerospace engineer. I just yeah. fucking labeled <laughs> me last time. Yeah. I'm aeronautical science now, hopefully. Okay. What's up? What's up? I'm Aryan. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm an AS major. It's Charlemagne in the building. Yes. <laughs> this yes. is Breakfast Club. <laughs> no, this is Borussia Shank. Uh, aeros- no, t- aeronautical <laughs> science. Yep. Uh, flight instructor here at Riddle. Um, DJ. Yes, DJ Shank. DJ Shank. Yeah. You know how it is? Yeah, so I'm Tane. Hey, what's up? I'm an A major as well. So everyone should realize that today is March 1st. Uh, how does everyone think about that? Does the time goes fast or just regular as usual? Yeah, it's going very fast. Yeah. It's, it's my birthday month. <laughs> really? When's it's your birthday? birthday? Yeah. March 19th. March 19th. Me as okay. well. Yeah. March what? 29th. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, we'll do 10 days apart. That's great. How, yeah, how old do you turn? 12? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I wish I turned 12. Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah, I would what? go back any day to be 12. Why 12? It's a I, joke. I don't know. We were, we were playing, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Because he's so he looks so young. <laughs> that oh, I said. thank you so much. I heard that uh, you are a grad student. Yeah, graduate student, first semester. Why did you choose to do grad school? Because um, I just felt like with an A degree, like what I had, yeah, I wasn't there was not that much to learn. So uh-huh. I was like, why not? I wanted to go enrich myself, learn okay. more new things. Okay. And this program is very rare. Uh huh. Like one in a hundred schools have this. Okay. Nationwide. Yeah. And Th- drones are the up and coming thing. They're a future billion dollar industry. True. And the thing is, like, a lot of companies are cutting um, manufacturing ties with China and moving to d- the U.S. Mm-hmm. With, like, d- in-house designing drones. Yeah. So it's an up-and-coming niche thing. Okay. I'm pretty bullish about. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, I think uh, I did some research about Aditya. Uh, you were the Desi Knight. You stalked yes. him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, what? Yeah. You were the Desi Knight, and then, uh, I did uh, some research about your the meaning behind your name through ChatGPT. Have you ever done that before? Uh, the meaning of my name is <coughs> son. Yeah. So you already done it. Wait, you're the son? He's the sun god. He is the sun. He is the sun. That, dude, that's crazy because my name means moon. Hot. Oh. Mine's the moon. Nice to meet you, moon. So, like, Do you know when's the no, next eclipse? God's slim. Do I know when's the next? No. The next solar eclipse is April 8th. If you go, there's, there's, there's a line where, yeah, it's like Niagara Falls and it kind of extends all the way down like towards like Texas. Oh, okay. And yeah. if you're in that like corridor, you'll see the entire sun. Like it'll it'll go full black, and it's like one of the last f- uh, full eclipses yeah. for a long while. Wait, mm. so what are we gonna say? It's gonna get a little bit dark, but it's not like oh. the full. You're not. It's not gonna get completely it's like black. Okay. So when's the date of that? April eighth. April eighth. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get uh, like a dark coverage on Florida or something. Not not in Florida, because if you, if if uh, you can like pan this up like okay. on and when you actually edit this out. Uh-huh. Uh, you'll see there's like a, there's a line that starts in like Canada, yeah, the, Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls area, area. Mm-hmm. and then it'll go all the way down like. To the left, basically, so sa- the US. southwest. It'll just extend southwest mm-hmm. towards like Texas, okay. and like Dallas is part of it. Yeah. So if you go to Dallas, you can experience the full total eclipse. So okay. it'll be completely black for like f- ten seconds, twenty seconds or so. Yeah. I saw your face at the first time in Desi Night. Yeah. What's the mark on your face? Okay. So. Is it too personal or is it okay? Uh, it's not personal. Oh, okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. So. When I arrived here in U.S. and the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, of course, here, yeah. many people asked me, mm. of course, in Boundless and Refueling Station, <coughs> it's the religious practice, mm. it's my seminar on religion, mm-hmm. I was also a Gurukul student, these mm-hmm. are the religious norms and practices we do in the morning prayers, mm-hmm. so along with that, this is included in a several number of steps. So is it like a priest also uh, or it's not like a priest it's a symbol given by the god to its devotees okay and we are being addressed to do that every day in our forehead it is called tika tilak tika tilak it has its many advantages uh-huh. and many reasons to perform so 
did you have that when you were born or did you paint that? Oh, no, I didn't have that when I was born. Okay. I, I started doing these practices when I was shifted to from day school to uh, boarding school. Okay. It was also known as Gurukul. Uh -huh. When I went to Gurukul, I was taught a lot about religious practices, norms, yeah. and a lot about the Indian heritage. Okay. And so this is a part of my life when I was in Gurukul. Okay. Because the one thing, the only one thing I know about the Red Circle is, um, uh, is <coughs> isn't it like a third eye? Uh, I don't know. That, that's what I heard. People say that and laser. <laughs> it's neither of those. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what people uh, say, it's called bro. Tika. Yeah. It's called Tika. Okay, so it's offensive. Yeah. So, uh, like one of my friends they just directly asked me what that red dot is on Indian's forehead, and they said first he thought it was a hole or something, <laughs> and it was like a power on button <laughs> or something. A powdered, like like, a powdered <laughs> hole on your head. <laughs> power on button. <laughs> yeah, is crazy. Exactly. How exactly. Not see that <laughs> Come Karthi, on. what were we gonna say? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, as you were saying, it's called Tika and Tilak. <coughs> if I'm right, the yes. red part of it is called Tika. Yeah. And then Tilak is the other thing that you see around yes. the U shape. The okay. Yeah, the orange. <coughs> and okay. uh, you put that on every day. So it's you not, you're not born with it. That okay. Is. So it's, you're, you didn't tattoo it on it. No. No. That's not it. You, it's not born, man. you make some stuff up and put it on. Interesting. Well, okay. What about this? What if you're late to those classes, but you don't, you didn't put the Tika on it? So do you skip it? No, I no. never skip it. I really? Okay. Skip it. I did this. Every, I do this every day. Even though, you, even though you have a, even though you're late to the class, you just do it and then go to late class. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's high value. I, I can miss yeah. class. I can miss class, but not this. Right there. Okay. Uh, what's the advantage of the tikka? Well, the big thing about the tilak is that it's chandan, and mm. chandan helps to keep your forehead very cool. Mm. Chandan is also used in <coughs> summers to, you know, uh, keep the lap on the god's feet and god's all the statues yeah it's used to actually provide cool effect on your body interesting okay and there are many several other advantages of it yeah so in uh, understandable terms there uh the u-shape that you see right there <coughs> is made right. out of sandalwood what, what? Do you know what? Sandalwood. sandalwood. Do you ever heard of sandalwood? What is that? Is it is that a type of the wood? Or yeah, it's yeah. It's yeah. Kind of wood. Just think of it like that. It's uh, like a very strong scent to it. Okay. And if you use like the, uh, you can make, what's it called? Pottery. Yeah, not even pottery. You can. There's soaps out there yeah, that are made by yeah. sandalwood, and I you use that for face wash. I've used it for face wash. Uh -huh. So good for your skin. It's so really? good for your skin. So yeah, yeah. It, it's it's medicinally. Yeah. It's supposed to like cool you down and stuff. Yeah. So okay. Use that advantage right Sandalwood there. is a very rare wood. Uh -huh. It takes like almost 100 years for an entire tea to go up. Okay. And it's very expensive. Does it, uh, do they sell in US? Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. You can, find yeah. you can find the spot. Just to uh, try to get to more into depth, is it okay? Yeah. 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 Uh, like, is it scientific or is it more mythical? It's both scientific and philosophical. Okay, so if I do that in my forehead, will it actually like, skim my... Like blood in my brain, or uh, there's no medical side effects. It's just religious. It's oh, okay. religious. Yeah. Like okay. Belief. Okay. It's a belief. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shram, uh, you told me that you are the you're studying the UAE minor or major. Uh, unmanned autonomous systems engineering, so UASC. Okay. Do you think uh, you'll the airplanes in our world right now will it ever change to unmanned aircraft systems? Um, like the commercial aircrafts you're talking yes. about, right? Yes. Uh huh. Um, for that I can explain yes and no. Yes, okay. you can have like automated aircraft, but you need to have a, someone to manage that aircraft, like to watch it, or oversee it. Yeah, the pilot in command. Like pilot on command. Yeah. Because if something goes wrong, oh. like, like who'll manage it? Who'll take care of it? Yeah. So the pilot has to be there. Hmm. So you're s are you saying that Shasheng's job could be replaced by on-man system? Uh, fifty yeah. <laughs> percent. Let me now. Let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> Who would, in their right mind, yeah. would completely trust a fully automated aircraft? And here's the thing: Airbus has already the done this test. Project. What? The Dragonfly project. Yeah, they've already done this. Okay. No passenger is gonna. They're not gonna sell tickets. Not, I mean, like, I would buy the tickets. You'd buy it. Yeah. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> but like, there's not a lot of people like that. True. There's crazy. There's people that are super. There's people that are. There's so many people in the world that are scared to fly on airplanes. Mm. There's no way people would hop on. There, and th here's the thing: these are with humans in there too. Mm -hmm. There's no way people are gonna hop on. Elon would. And, okay, but like, there's not anyone. People, there's not a lot of people like Elon. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So not everyone would like hop on, hop in a jet yeah. if there's no pilots there. So there's, if anything, yeah, it could be s fully automated. Yeah. With at least one person in the flight deck. But that one person could like watch the like. One person, because if anything does go wrong, who's yeah. gonna control that? <coughs> 
But here's the malfunctions thing. are always possible. You can't just stop a plane midair. True. All right. The FAA would never let that slide. Okay. With like being completely <laughs> autonomous, <laughs> just let that slide. They would not <laughs> let that slide. <laughs> I'm just saying they would not let that slide. Like I feel completely. Like it would take time. It would take like, time. In the long yeah. run, maybe like. 50 to 100 years from yeah, now. Probably yeah, probably. But right now, I don't think it's possible. Not okay, really Shank, so are you saying that um, your instructor job wouldn't be replaced by an uh, AI system in 10 years or 15 years? Because I, th I think the pilot's uh, number will yeah. huge, highly de uh, decrease in about five years because AI technology is developing so fast. I mean, AI... Yeah, but they're not gonna just immediately trust AI just like that. True, you know. Yeah, it'll um, be like a transition. It'll be like a slow transition. Yeah, what about autonomous system? Not the AI, autonomous system. Autonomous, yeah. That that'll well, obviously, like with the uh, we we learn automation management even here. That's part of our course curriculum here, mm -hmm. learning automation management. So we'll still do that, but we're not gonna. They're not gonna just completely just be like just trusting a robot to do everything for you. Mm. All right. The FAA is just not, they're just not going to let, like, they're not, they're not even going to allow Of course, they're, they're really slow. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Because they think about safety and stuff. Exactly, yeah. Because what I think about the uh, airplane, the airline industry, industry right now, um, humans make mistakes, and I think technology can support that, the yeah. human tiredness and everything. No. Yeah. So I think uh, they will replace all the humans in about 10 years. What do you think? Years. Okay, well, years. Yeah, that's too soon. That's, that's too way too soon. soon. That's way really? too soon. Yeah, yeah but that's way too soon. soon. Are you gonna like say anything? Twenty one hundred. Let's talk about one thing. Remember uh. how they said they're gonna have flying cars and whatnot? We and have right now, but it's not popular. No, 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 they were talking back. Like in, I remember, bro, back in two thousand. He yeah, remembers yeah. in the womb, bro. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. He uh, was there. <laughs> I was somewhere, but he was there. I was here. He was a little fetus. What he said, yeah. So he said flying cars. I said. All this jackass shit. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. you're saying we have a flying car. Right? Yes. Do you see it on the road? Do Not you yet. See it in the sky right now. You don't Not see yet. it on the. They, they they're said testing this, it. They're testing. They're testing. Yeah. Exactly. Thirty years ago. Thirty years ago. Forty years ago. They said they were gonna have flying cars. Yes. Like fully advanced. Mm. See, society highly it's overestimates. It's all. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we're capable of much more. I agree. But yeah. Is like is the world ready? They for it? said Definitely we not. were gonna be on Mars by 2020. Are we? True. No. Because we were on the moon 1970 or 80, right? And now we don't even... Ba we barely go to the moon now. Yeah. We just send satellites to the moon. Yeah, we have to talk about the Eagle Cam. What do you think about the Eagle... Uh, the moon lander tipping over on the moon? Didn't the, uh, didn't the Eagle Cam not take pictures he, of the moon, they, right? They took... I think they it took did? the picture, but the lunar lander tipped over on the moon. And I feel like... I don't know. I think uh, USA should have invested more on the space mission <coughs> back in 1970. Do you think space it's... Race what's up? The space race? Yeah, space race. Yeah, against Russia. Huh? It was just a compete against Russia. Why not? Why not China? China. We don't China like China. 1970. Where was that? Like, like they were did anyone China. know they about China back then? They were dealing no. with Chairman Mao. No, <laughs> exactly. Like China, uh, like Mao. became a huge country because of their primary sector, like labor and stuff like that. They weren't they weren't in technology like until <coughs> early 2000. Yeah, early, early 2000. 2000s. Facts. Yeah. And now you see the China's power. Now. now we bow down but to them. Not <laughs> in the space industry. I don't hey, see China long, entering <laughs> and being a huge Ching's player in space soon. industry for a long time. I like yeah. your point about China playing a huge factor in yeah. space industry. Uh -huh. China right now has its own space station. They right? do. They yeah. Do. Yeah. yeah they do. Dangong Space Station. And the ISS is country. retiring very soon. ISS mm -hmm. is a part which is collaborated by many countries. China, one country, has its own space station. Mm -hmm. That's a very big thing right now. Yeah. If you take an example of such a country, there's no other country right now which has its own private space station. Yeah, because I personally think China is overtaking U.S. by, uh, uh, what do you call, infrastructure system, autonomous system, technology, because they're just going this way, but U.S.A. is like going like this, you know? Facts. Now yeah. let's talk about one thing. Okay. About China. Sure. That they kind of do wrong. Okay. Let's yeah, talk about their cars for a minute. Okay. What cars in China? All of them. Like BYD? We're the <laughs> they're just like... <laughs> Have you seen the uh, so take take a look at like what Tesla does? Mm -hmm. There's a Chinese variant of it. A lot. BYD, yeah. Yeah, B is it BYD? BYD. Yeah, Ain't nobody I've heard of that. I'm, this is the first time I'm hearing about that. Really? Yeah. Okay. You gotta get on news outlets more, bro. Oh, okay. Have you? Would you? Uh, would you rather buy a Tesla or a BYD? I would buy none. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly yeah. That's smart exactly. man. <laughs> Now, would you rather buy a Porsche or th th whatever? Porsche. They're, Porsche. They're, oh. uh, that's it. The, the <laughs> end of discussion. So. Basically, yeah. the, they, 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 they're they evolving, yes, mm -hmm. but they got to do better on their their, uh, their vehicles. 
Honestly, I don't trust Chinese technology. Huawei? But don't get me wrong. Okay. Have you, you I mean, Huawei, Huawei phones. Huawei. 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 However you say no, it. No, it's, it's, it's Huawei. Huawei? Yeah. Okay. Huawei. Yeah. <laughs> Huawei. I think their phones are pretty cool. Okay. But that's about it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you I mean, I don't find anything else. Either. I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely would want to go to... Yeah, no, what, what? Hong Kong, but Hong Kong is it's it's, it's one place. See, no, Hong look, Kong is. Oh, he's yes, from Hong Kong. Yes, I am. You're I'm from a, Hong Kong. I'm a Hong Kong resident. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, I but it's that. completely two different worlds. I've been to China. I've been to Hong Kong. Uh-huh. They are two completely different worlds. Is dogs still allowed to be <laughs> eaten? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen pretty crazy things like really? being such eaten, as. Wait, wait. Yeah. What's the wildest thing you ever seen? Yeah. Being eaten? Uh, yeah, probably a dog. Yeah. But like a dog oh. being eaten. Yeah, what about like, cat? No, I haven't seen cat being eaten. Like I've seen a lot of animals just. Do people eat raccoons there? I don't know. I think they eat. There's this YouTube channel about a guy like this 900 pound Chinese guy, and he makes like. You said 900 pounds? Yeah, he's huge. He's bigger than this table. What? (laughs) But like, there he makes mukbang. He uses like, he he he. What does he eat? Pet piglet or something like that. You said pig. Piglet? Yeah, piglet. (laughs) Baby pig. Karthik is flabbergasted (laughs) by what you're saying right now. (laughs) No, no, he like cooks it. The children as well. No, <laughs> as a baby gator as well. Baby yeah. gator. Yeah. Let that thing yeah, grow, I bro. think he's like this one YouTuber. Like, if you type mukbang, uh-huh. fat Chinese dude. Okay. He'll pop up. <laughs> okay. And like, come on <laughs> now. And he's very. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> like he's, he's, on he's on the. He's on it. Yeah. Very crazy. Yeah. Tiny, uh, continue the story. Yeah. yeah. So like, there's a huge cultural and uh, like, if you see like from China from a uh, other country uh, aspect uh, like perspective. Mm. It's really like uh, all flashy and stuff. But mm. when you go to China, you'll see it's a lot of poverty and stuff like that. You won't see a lot of like good technology. Mm. It's like just a show. Mm. But in Hong Kong, it's completely different because it was like under release for Britishers mm. for like approximately 100 years or something. Mm-hmm. And now they like have a separate government that is provided by the Chinese though. But yeah, it's still a bit different. Obviously, Tane has been to Hong Kong way more than I. I- I've been there once. Okay. I've been there once. Yeah. And that shit was nice, bro. I'll give you that. In Hong Kong. Their water, bro. Yeah. No, 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 no. The taste I'm, of it or? No, I'm being dead ass. The taste of their goddamn water. What does it taste like? That shit was like beyond water. Was bro. it made in China? What was their piss like? <laughs> <laughs> Would you drink your piss? <laughs> if, the, if the water is that good, you should be able to drink your own piss. That is true. What? No, no, no. I'm talking about like, it just tasted good, bro. Karthi, Karthi. What's so different about Hong Kong water and U.S. water? U.S. water sucks. I'll give you. Okay, that. okay. Uh, Indian water. <laughs> Bisleri. No, let me. Bisleri is the only water that I trust in India. What's a Bisleri? Bisleri is. Uh, They're better uh, companies, bro. Well, Wait, which which is bottled water, water is the only thing I trust in India. Okay. Okay. Kinley, Kinley. Kinley, bro. Kinley's Kinley. Kinley. I don't know what that is. I wasn't paid for this. <laughs> Go to Hong Kong. <laughs> Go to Hong Kong. <laughs> Go to Hong Kong. Drink your water. Come back. That shit will like. No, honestly, I, I can still taste it in my goddamn. You have to visit Hong Kong once. Yes. Yeah. You have to visit Hong Kong once in your life. It yeah. is really a good experience. Just once in your life, or like at least once. Just, 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 just once, once in your life, <laughs> more than that. At least once. Okay. Yeah. Do you What's think so special about it, though? Like the culture. Like you can really experience the Asian culture with the like Western what? culture, yeah. the American, the British culture. Okay. Like there's a particular spot, like the Central Area. If you go there, you'll feel you're in London because it was made by mm. London. So it's like a fusion. Yeah. Okay. What's, what's the What's the What's the nightlife like there? It's crazy. There's like entire street. Uh, for clubs and stuff, it's wild. Is it like as, uh, sea breeze here? <laughs> sea breeze, way better than sea breeze. Way, way better than sea breeze. But isn't housing expensive there? Yeah, it's one of the most expensive cities to live in. So like the housing. Go if you're rich. Yeah. Like go uh, if you're rich. until 1980s, there was a Kowloon walled city, which was the most densely populated uh, region in the entire world. They had to shut down because of the crime rates that increased. Mm. I've literally seen people live in like. Uh, like in the size of this room, 20, 30, maybe even 40 people can live. Mm. It's so expensive over there because the entire land is owned by government. If I'm not wrong, I'm not sure about this, yeah. but yeah. But would you live in Hong Kong? Uh, like w- I would. Yeah, I live in Hong Kong. Like he, he lives in Hong Kong right yeah. now. You have a family in your Hong Kong. Yeah, my oh. parents live in Hong Kong. So you're rich. <laughs> I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. Wait, the riots. Talk about the riots. Right. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. So basically, the uh, the contract was signed between uh, British and the Chinese uh-huh. that after the the lease is over, they can't bring any like major changes to the rules until like some year sixty hundred. I don't remember. Yeah. 
so uh, china but because hong kong uh, creates like hong kong is a free port you don't have to pay import or export uh, okay so it's causing hindrance to chinese uh, like beijing shanghai uh, cities like those so Ch- china wants to control hong kong of so course. they bought some rules yeah. which got a lot of people uh, mad about like yeah. so basically i think the rule was if there is any crime happening in hong kong like if you commit a crime you'll be taken down to china or something to get Why? executed i'm not sure because it's Why china chinese are crazy hong kong court huh what do they not go to a court in hong kong no they can't they'll be taken to the chinese court but why is that yeah no one knows that's why the mm. people were mad that's mm. why that's the reason does that rule still apply for now uh no they brought some changes to it okay mm. so if i go to hong kong and commit a crime am i going to go to the chinese uh doesn't korea court? hate china i don't hate china Well, I, I know you don't hate China, but <laughs> like, like I'm Korea, saying, like South Korea, the South Korea in the 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 government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why would they? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Are I mean, they allies? Is it? Is it's, it it's, it's, of land it's, it's weird. What about North Korea? They're fl- they're families. Okay, wait, yeah. you like Tesla, right? <laughs> yes. You have they're to go families. Hong Kong. There are a lot of Teslas over really? there. Yeah, I have seen most. Like, if generally, if you're a car fan, yeah. you have to go Hong Kong. Okay. And like, Tokyo. Yeah, and Tokyo. I really want to go to Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. Tokyo. So my final question for you is, I guess. Can China take over USA? <laughs> no way. I don't no know. way. Really? Why Their do you think that? Military is not as advanced as ours. But but you don't know what they have. They're still trying to figure out our F 22s They will never figure they, out they that F twenty two. The thing is, what if they are building? Lockheed is going to create something better. Okay, but what if they're building far stronger than F two two, but they're just not, you know, spilling informations? What if the U S is? Yeah. True. True. What do you think happens in Air fifty one? We don't know. No you don't know. Yeah, you no don't one know. knows. Do you think China has Air Fifty One like area? I feel like they do. Yeah, honestly, it's probably Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Wuhan. No, no. Honestly, Wuhan. what? Uh, Wuhan U.S. has more uh, allies because almost every other country hates China. So mm. I guess U- U.S. would have more allies. So it's pretty difficult. Isn't China and Russia our allies? Yeah, China, yeah. Russia, yeah. Pakistan, yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. Okay. No, what if uh, Pakistan does not come with Russia because Russia supports India? So yeah. China and Pakistan are allies. China and Russia are allies, but they three are not aren't allies. Yeah. So yeah. You said Russia supports India. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. so if the World War Three happens, India, yeah. India's China, winning. India's winning. In, in, he's India's winning. winning. <laughs> wait, wait, India's what? Winning. India's winning. How? Dude, the Indian Army okay. can't compete with. It's the best. It's, it's, it's so really good. So India versus USA, who will win? See. India. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> let him let cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> you cook, 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 cook. You're Let's see how he can cook. Wait, wait, wait. You said, yeah. you said India versus the U.S., right? Yes, yes. I'll, I'll give you one thing. Okay. I, I, you, you guys have seen ads for like Marines and Air Force. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. For to enroll, right? right? On YouTube. Yeah, well, wherever. Yes. Not just YouTube. Right? Yes. Sometimes on the radio as well. Mm-hmm. In the U.S., right? Yeah. In India, they got zero ads. You know why? Why? Because there are so many people who want to join all of these armed forces that running ads doesn't make sense to them. I'm just, I'm just giving an example, trying to give a perspective it, of how many people are willing to like. Is it a voluntary? Question, question. Yeah. Why didn't you join the Indian Army? I'm not eligible, you dumb. Wait, what? You're not eligible? No, I'm not Indian. You have to train. Really yeah, yeah, you are. You have to be uh, an Indian citizen. Uh, right. Can a foreigner join the Indian Army? Nope. No. no. Nope. Okay. You can get your citizenship and still not. They still not, would not give. You a have fuck. to be born there, right? Yeah. You no. have to be have born to. on the spot. Okay, so what if I have an Indian wife and have a baby th- in India? W- will my son or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, as long as that person is born in India. That's, a, that's mm. like the same rule here. Like, true. I'm not Indian. Yeah, but I was. If you're born in the United States, you are a citizen. Right, the citizen. United States. Birthright so citizenship. You can go into the military. Mm. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. India has mm. beaten the shit out of any country, bro. I'll give you that. I kind of want. I'm kind of interested in the Indian Air Force. What planes do they have? I two two. The the illusions are. Uh, I, I don't know. What the fuck's an I? <laughs> I don't <bro>? know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, they got some Migs. They got. The they got Migs. Can uh, that compete with an F twenty two? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. wait. See, honestly, <laughs> in terms of infrastructure, India cannot compete with the uh, the US. But in terms of like manpower and oh, hundred percent, like oh, yeah. armed Fair. forces. But but that's just the manpower though. Because, no, like, for example, like Marcos, the Marine people. Commandos, yeah. is one of the most lethal, uh, like, sector of army in the entire world. Like, uh-huh. I mean, so, so are the Navy SEALs. Yeah. And the so, Green know. Berets, if I'm right. Mm-hmm. When it, we talk about the diff. Air Force, you talk about the fighter jets. We have MiG-21, we have Rafale, we have Sukhoi, 
and we have many military transport aircraft. The Su-57, bro. The what? The Su-57, Sukhoi, Sukhoi. Superjet. Sorry, Sukhoi 57. I don't know much about my military stuff. So okay, that, that competes. That can compete with the F-22. I'm not gonna say the F-22. Uh, to be honest, it's not. Going I don't to. think anything in the world can compete. They call the F-22 the most sophisticated fighter jet Dude, ever created. Still trying to They're out trying to the figure out. They don't. They in there. Yeah. They can't. It also uh, made the fucking government bankrupt. You know that, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, rich, rich, yeah. rich government. The, the U.S. US government. government. Really? I mean, yeah. to be fair, we are we like trillions of debt yeah. right now. Right, right, yeah. But that, that never stop spending on the military. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Order 3 will ever happen? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. With who versus who? I feel like Russia and China will be a big part of it. Yeah. So yeah. Russia and China are the team. Yeah. Always, and then versus USA and United, India or? Like NATO. No. Let's throw like someone else in the mix. Cause why not Australia? Djibouti. Djibouti. <laughs> 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 also, uh, I heard that. Um, I think one of you said that. Um, in Russia supports India. Yeah. Doesn't mean when World War Three happens, so India, China, is, India, China, India, Russia are the team or no? India and like China Ru- won't be a team because they have a lot of land issues. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. India and China don't go along. They don't. I actually, I like cr- India will be like the peace country because yeah, they're also good friends with the l- United States, like a Switzerland. Yeah. Okay. Like Switzerland in like World War Two. Okay. I thought India and China actually hated each other, right? They do. They're okay, that's what I thought. Because when I went to, I went to, I went on a trip to North India. Uh-huh. I climbed the Himalayas and whatnot over the yeah, summer, I right? Yeah, sure, yeah. How was it? Amazing. Right. It was uh, difficult. Was it was hard. That. It was hard, but it's a place called Kedarnath, which is like. Okay. Oh, it's you went a, to the temple. There. I went to the, the temple there. Path? Wait, you oh, hiked, right? We hiked. How far was it? Like, yeah. what's the distance? Uh, f- the actual hiking point. It was. It was thirteen yeah. miles. Okay. Not yeah, bad. so 13 miles, and it was like it, it obviously got colder as you yeah. went up. But as soon as you got to the temple, it was just like on the ground, it was like 70 degrees. You go up there, it's like 30. Yeah, yeah, 30. So continue about t- 25. That. And there's like no warmth there at all. Yeah. So we, we slept there, it was cold in there. Um, so yeah, when I went up there, we were close to we thought we, it was like all like it was a full North India trip, okay. Um, and I forgot what t- town I went there. It was like India's first village or whatever. Okay. And when I went there, they had, we were like 20 miles from the border of China. Mm. But that wasn't the actual border. That was just the, where the, like the line of people were standing, like the security. Like, no, no, yeah. no man's land. It was mm. like no man's land. Mm-hmm. But if you go 40 more miles, mm. then that's where like the actual line starts. They don't even let you go to the actual border of it. Because mm. it's like dangerous. Because it's that dangerous. They don't even let you go to the actual border. But why is it dangerous? Can can Indians cross over the border? Um, like Mexicans? No. Like no. Mexicans? No, you can't. Like <laughs> why you gotta <laughs> say it like that? <laughs> why you gotta say it well, like Mexicans that? Mexicans are crossing I mean, the border, so. It's right. They are crossing the border. They are crossing the border. Illegally, Illegally a lot. Right now. Exactly. Wait, yeah. The reason but is it's all mountainous region. So, like, they, fa- uh, they build caves and stuff like that. But, uh, like, you can't. Like legally cross the border. Hey, a quick question for y'all. Yeah, what's up? What's Mexicans' favorite kind of race? Don't say if you know the answer. Wait, 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 wait. To cross the border. That's not a race. <laughs> oh, what's a Mexicans' favorite kind of race? Cross country. Cross country. You know <laughs> it. <laughs> That's funny. When we were talking about India supporting any country in the future, we can't mm. say that. Actually, the very best thing about the external affairs ministry of India is that. It always take decision what comes in the best interest of the people of India. Yeah, so the thing is, we generally uh, talk about India being uh, like a second world country, like sub, uh, being under a powerful nation. But I don't know if you guys know the recent thing where India cancelled all the visas, all the officials uh, entering from Canada to India. Why? Uh, because basically, uh, oh, Canada like, was supporting like one of those like riots. Yeah, like no, against, against like the Khalistan. Yeah. Khalistan. Yeah. So basically, there's a terror group like Khalistan, uh-huh. and there were rumors that uh, Canada's government is funding them, and one of the leaders of Khalistan was shot, and mm-hmm. Canada blamed it on Indian government, and the sh- like shit got pretty difficult for mm-hmm. uh, both sides. So yeah, there was some political disturbance. Mm. And Canada uh, and India both like uh, cancelled visas for each other's country. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but the main thing is that we try to maintain good relations with every country. Every country from the Middle East, so every th- country from the West, every country from the East. India's for the, the, India's for the people. Yeah. We just want peace. That's it. That's yeah. all India wants. Yeah, I mean, that's what I want too. But why do you think uh, US and Russia just keep firing on? I don't know. Let me. Chicago has. Yeah, read it, read it, read it. Yeah, bro. We got we got headlines here. Okay, okay. I'm fr- I'm from Chicago. We all know exactly. that, right? Chicago had a day of no shootings for the seventh time in the past five years. 
That's got to be the biggest the cap I've ever heard That's in my cool. life. <laughs> <laughs> so you tell me there's definitely been a crime or a shooting. D- d- these are talking about the ones that have been reported. True. So You're telling me you go to Southside and there has not been a single shooting? Oh, there's there? definitely has been. That's what I'm saying. There's, there's, mm. there's no way. Like, I don't believe that, no. I don't think not the one cops bit. go to the Southside. The cops can't. D- I'm pretty sure they have their own government. I'm pretty sure it's like the Crips and Bloods. <laughs> That's part of the government there. <laughs> what you, you know? think? You know what's worse than Chicago? What? San Francisco. What? You can steal anything like below a thousand bucks. Because there's that a lot of homeless true. people? No. Yeah, they're they're so Theore- like a, theoretically, they like you could do law. that anywhere. Yeah, yeah. But like, there's a law where like if uh, you're stealing something and it's under like a certain price, yeah. it'd just be charged with a misdemeanor. So it won't what? be a felony charge. So you can, oh, yeah. you can so you can steal it. It's the nine hundred dollar limit, right? If you nine or it depends you can steal on like a TV or something. I so feel like sometimes it's a California. Thousand. It's nine hundred, I guess. So you can just steal it yeah. without a charge. This is yeah, more, mo- this is the more like so if what? it. Uh, you can I don't hear you. You can steal an iPhone. I'm saying. No, really? So yes, I, I know how I'm switching now. You're as switching. You're switching. I can attest to this. You realize you just as a Californian, I can attest to this. I'm from California. You 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 stole it before. I'm joking. Huh? You stole it before. Ice? What do you mean? No, did you steal... You steal it, You stole an iPhone before? No. <laughs> I'm a good person. No. Okay. So <laughs> <All right>. I'm, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. If you steal anything under $900, I think they don't charge you they for don't. felony, it's right? A misdemeanor. It's That's yeah, the most misdemeanor. normal California law I've ever heard of. Really? It's all oh. over the United States. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think the, so, yeah. The okay, value so, so changes, but the law is the same. So, oh, here's okay. a, so continuing to that... If I go to Apple Store in California, still the the newest iPhone 16 Pro without no one seeing me, is it legal or illegal? Um, all right, it is a crime. It is a crime. I yes. don't know the exact Nobody amount. But the, Cali, it's a punishment. It's a punishment. You won't be charged with a felony. It'd be considered a misdemeanor, depending on how much the value of the item is. So they'll, have, they'll still have to take you to jail, process you in, and whatnot. But they just won't keep you in there. Yeah, or like you it's won't like go to prison. Yeah. So you get caught. You go to prison. You don't you go. go to prison. Oh, you don't go to prison. You, you just go to jail for a few days? It depends on the v- how much value you have stolen. Together. Let's say uh, $900. You won't be charged as a misdemeanor. I think if that's the value in Cali, that's like if it's 900 or below, it'll be charged as a misdemeanor. And okay. then 900 above will Brian's be really like thinking a felony. About it. <laughs> I'm intrigued. He, he, he's <laughs> intrigued because <laughs> he wants to do it now. He's going to Cali now. Yeah. <laughs> but then would you have to return that thing or can you keep it? That's a big question. Was it worth it? Staying Morally, in jail for you have a few to return it, but I don't know. Nobody cares. So theoretically speaking, the newest iPhone 16 Pro will come out this September. The I 16? Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, oh, word. I would love this like every year. Yeah. I go to California, steal it in somehow, don't get caught. Really, ever, like, if I never get caught, would I ever... Uh, I mean, if you don't get caught, you don't get caught. That's, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> 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 But, um, Brian, yeah. you've seen, like, in social media, like, Instagram, uh-huh. like, there are thousands of kids like, yeah. or adults that come in mobs, like, pack, like a pack of wolves. Uh-huh. They, like, swarm into a Apple store or, like, a Gucci or Chanel store. Yeah. And, like, they just take anything that they can and they run out. Uh-huh. And security. And, like, um, if you try to stop, if an employee tries to stop them, they get fired. Why? Uh, fired? Like, really? I actually don't know the reason, but, like, there's a saying... So yeah, like when security is trying to stop the bad thing, they get the, the, the punishment. Place. Oh, th- I've heard of this before. That's because they just don't want to either. They don't want to cause a scene and they just want like, because yeah. the yeah. customers won't come back. If other customers see that, yeah. they won't want to come back. So they yeah. don't want to ruin. They don't want to ruin that. That's for really all interesting. Customers. Just gonna let all those people. Steal I, stuff? I, I don't even know. That's interesting. I've heard That's of this before. The world is dying in Cali, man. The thing is, you can you can steal the phone but you cannot steal the car correct because you need a car key or anything uh, you can hack a tesla you can hack a tesla yeah do you know how i don't know how <laughs> <it's> gonna, <laughs> <it's> gonna <laughs> hack <laughs> yeah, i know i know bro just wants that cyber orange. truck so <laughs> bad i mean you know how like every like mob family has like g-wagons right every mom family mob mob, mob. mob. oh okay mob yeah. brian's gonna have like a whole army of cyber trucks i'm interested because Elon, <laughs> Elon brought the Twitter. He's interesting. Uh, do you guys read X? Yes. I you talking about Twitter? Regularly. Yeah, yeah Twitter. Twitter. I yeah. burned my Twitter no, account. No, it's X. I, 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 I still call it Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Twitter. why they called it X. Because Elon bought it and he changed the name. Yeah. Why to X though? Be- is okay, there like a because his main goal is to, uh, he wants to be X to be universal X. So he's actually creating the... X mail. Yeah, the X mail. X mail, yeah. They're trying to create the mail system to X. What do you, what do you name his kid? 
doesn't this kid have like it's like yeah. zua no it's something like it's a bunch of digit ae one two something like that it's yeah. some digit it's like yeah. some course code it's like <laughs> like morse code course course, 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 course like course, a two yeah. one or something like that yeah, yeah. r two d two or something AE like that one two something like that uh elon brought the uh about the tesla roaster have you guys ever heard of that? Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm zero, I, I'm zero, right. to, zero to 60 under one second. Under one second is crazy. Now, where would you want to go possibly that fast? I don't know in the U.S., but the maybe in, in Germany. In Al Germany Al on the Autobahn? Autobahn? Yeah. If you had money, would you buy the Tesla Roadster? The new one is coming the out one? next year. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. If that if there was a Tesla that would that would buy, it would be the Roadster. Not zero to sixty one. under one second. Yes. Yeah. And when okay. she says she's home know. alone, so he said. <laughs> 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 Arian, you talked about the uh, the Porsche Porsche last podcast. Yeah. I'll talk about that car all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if the Tesla Roadster comes out, obviously it's faster than Porsche 911. Would you buy it if you had money? If I had the Over, choice, if I had like a choice between a 911 and, and a Roadster, yeah. 911. Yeah, I'd go for the Porsche 911. Why? 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 You know why? We will tell you why. It's much faster. It's much. It doesn't faster. matter. It doesn't much, matter. Much, 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 okay. 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 Come. Continue. 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 <laughs> See, well, no, what I'm saying is, see, a car isn't just about the fucking speed. It's not about speed. It's not about just it's acceleration. It's about the goddamn feel, bro. It's the feel. Yeah, it's the feel. The, it's, the, it's the soul. Zero to okay, 60 under what second? Let me give you all an analogy. Yeah, go ahead. Let me give you all an analogy. Okay. Like an image? No. <laughs> you, you, an analogy, okay? Think yeah. of a car that has a, that, okay, you take a Porsche 911, you take a Tesla Roadster. Mm -hmm. One has sound, one, one doesn't. Mm -hmm. What if you had... A girlfriend, real person time, and then a robot girlfriend. What would you rather have? Wait, why does it matter to that topic? It's a car versus car, right? Okay, fine. What if you? What if you? Would you rather be married to someone that can? Okay, this is gonna sound <laughs> so <laughs> bad. <laughs> one, one that has sound or one doesn't. So like, Roaster has a sound. What? It is a sound. What has a sound? It's artificial. It's, not, you're, it's you're artificial. Not, no, no, no. So, so it, would you be rather it, it be married to an artificial person or a real person? It is electric and motor sound. Would you be rather? Would you rather be married to an electric? Dude, not electrical. Is, person? Is, <laughs> 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 allergies, bro. Bro, I'm just saying. Would it's you be not rather tripping together. so hard? <laughs> what? You're tripping, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm not tripping, bro. I'm being for real, oh, bro. Continue, continue. I'm just saying. Would you be rather? Would you rather be married to artificial intelligence or real intelligence? Of course, real person. There you go. Yeah, honestly, if I had the money, no, listen, listen. A real car for you, Brian. If I had enough money, I'd get both. Sh sure. Oh, of course. Exactly. But what if you have a choice? Still Porsche 911. Why? Because we're car guys and we like okay. sound in it. Real sound, real exhaust. We're not, battery, not, we're not moving battery, guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah. honestly, I love Tesla, uh -huh. but I don't. But damn. <laughs> but, but you're gonna, still gonna go to a Cybertruck. Event. Oh yeah, I still want to see it. Don't get me wrong. Have you ever seen the real one? I've never seen it in my life. No. I saw yeah. that shit in the fucking. Um, it's not shit. It's the art. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Uh huh. Art. That battery. <laughs> in the, uh, in a, he saw that pile of crap <laughs> in a showroom in DC. Yeah. What's your What was your initial initial impression? I'm not gonna lie, bro. That shit looks nice. Yeah. Like, it looks nice. Don't mm -hmm. don't get me, but it's electric. Ain't nobody want that. I do. <laughs> okay, Brian. I have a question. Yes. Have you ever driven a fair. manual? Huh? Manuel car? Yes, I hated it. Manuel. Yo, you, Manuel. You, 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 Manuel. Dude, it's so hard. Like, oh my if, okay. god. Okay. A to B, when you when it's in the auto, you just push the pedal. Yeah. But in the uh, manual, you, just, you know, it's do that stuff. It's like the fuel. It's yeah, it's yeah about exactly. The fuel. It's about the feel you know, of a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? It's so complex, you know? No, it's not complex. Well, it's well, like if soon? you know how to like yeah. do oh, yeah, it, it's fun. It will be in your muscle memory and it's fun. Some people just would like to be like relaxed and just use it. I guess that's teaching their own. You know, if you yeah. like electric cars, if you like Tesla, they go do like go do that. You you don't you don't want no sound in your car. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. You know, like I feel like luxury cars. If there were electric, like for example, yeah, for Rolls Royce, for if Rolls Royce, if Rolls Royce made a car that was electric, yeah, but I wouldn't. They're, that. they're actually Wait, building the EV right now. Does yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Have an electric car? Uh, yeah, they've built too. Yeah, is that that was electric? The Revolto is electric. It's hybrid, I guess. If yeah, I'm not wrong, hybrid. Yeah. Rolls Royce Spectre is electric. Which one? Rolls Royce Spectre. Uh, that oh one yeah. is electric. Yeah. See now, yeah. something like that, I would not mind at all because they're they have their well, marketing the, is for the Rolls Royce is about like how it looks, how it looks, how the it interior. feels, the, smoothness, the luxury, luxury yeah. quiet. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. Now, when it comes down to like a Porsche, Taycan, he got so serious the when he said this. <laughs> <laughs> His voice Ain't has changed. Can we like talk about something? Yeah. We got about like two minutes. Why is the why do they call it the Taycan Turbo? Where's the turbo? Is it an it's an electric it's an car. Why would I have a turbo? Wait, wait. Is it, is it, aren't the previous versions of it? 
the Tycon has always been electric. Yeah. Yeah. So why would they call it the Tycon Turbo? It ain't got no turbo. Do they really call turbo? Because I just call Porsche and Tycon. They got the Tycon, but then they got different variants of it. They got the Tycon Turbo, which is... I, th- I don't think there's a Turbo S. I think there's just Turbo. So what's the difference between, like, the horsepower? Yeah. I assume electrical version has uh, stronger horsepower. It, it it only comes in electric. The Tycon yeah. is an electric car. Yeah. It, when it got first got introduced, it's, it's only electric. Right, right. So between the Tycon and the Tycon Shit, Turbo, it's the more so house. <laughs> 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 no, look at that piece of shit. <laughs> 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 don't, it doesn't, I don't think it looks ugly. It's I think it looks nice. It, it, it doesn't look well, hideous. Made up McLaren. No, don't get... Whoa. No, it does not. Wait, what are you talking about? Car thing. The Tycon. The Tycon. The Tycon. But they call it the Tycon Turbo. Where's the turbo in it? There's no turbo. I don't know. I'm not the CEO of a Porsche. They're probably just like coming. We'll just call it the horsepower. Right. Yeah. Turbo. Okay. I think uh, we have to end the podcast here. Right. I think our story got interesting at the at the end. At the end, end. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Why do they call it turbo? Porsche. Why do y'all call the Tycon? Yeah. The turbo. That's a turbo. That's the. the, When it has no turbo. Take it up with them. Honestly, huge respect to Mustang for keeping the engine. Unlike charger, mm. they're going electric too. Yeah, they Mustangs are. aren't. They are. Yeah, they, they are. are. Yeah. yeah, everything is going electric. Did the whole new world like now? It's just gonna become electric or hydrogen. The Toyota is going hydrogen. At last, Cybertruck is the best. Yeah, Cybertruck. Let's go. What about the Ford Fusion? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, that's a get him off the podcast. <laughs> get him out of here. Family friendly car right there. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. The li- yeah, you're lying. Carter's got the message. Yes. Thank you for joining again, as he said. Mm-hmm. Pull the fuck up for the next podcast. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Ooh, Let's go. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. I, I got your answer for you. Just. Why do they call it turbo? The turbo name trim, is given it. to a top. Just top trim. Just to make.